Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Sagittarius, this is your reading for the month of uh, month of August, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates, only what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Sagittarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. As far as this video on YouTube is concerned, Sagittarius, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, or you will be dealing with. So let's get started now. So what is your energy? We have lovers. Nice. I'm seeing lovers after such a long time. Trust me. Then we have eight of swords and I'm feeling happy about it. Seven of cups. Nine of swords. Energy of your person. Ten of cups. Page of wands. Six of wands. And we have the fool. Okay. So... You may be dealing with Gemini, you may be dealing with Aries Leo Sage, I'm hearing Pisces. I'm also hearing, yeah, Gemini and Libra. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. So this is your energy. We have lovers, we have eight of swords, then seven of cups and nine of swords. So Sagittarius, what is your energy? The message uh, for the month of August is that start loving yourself. You need to show that love to yourself. Okay. Listen, Sagittarius, you have so much to share. You have so much of love to give. It's like your cup is always overflowing. And because of that excessive overflow of love people are always like anyways your cup is overflowing whatever is overflowing let me have that okay why to waste that love so people tend to become greedy around you they they are hungry for your love okay and you are a kind-hearted soul Sagittarius you are a a very loving and caring soul and what happens is because of your generosity because of your kindness people tend to extract from you people become a bit greedy for your love okay and then they 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 sort of tend to empty the cup that you have and you are left with nothing for yourself okay so it's time that you start saying no to people. If you know that whether it is love or whether it is anything else. If your mind is telling you Sagittarius that I want to say no. Listen to your mind, your heart and your soul. And say verbally no to that person. Don't be like oh if I say no what that person is going to feel. Okay. If you have to say no just say fucking no. And why say no? Because the cards are indicating that you need to start directing that love towards yourself. 
you need to love yourself you are ignoring yourself while taking care of other people don't do that never and ever do that okay so when i say love yourself what do i mean first of all loving yourself is about stopping the unnecessary energies uh around you you will have to learn to show boundaries to the people like that is the boundary and you cannot cross that boundary you can stay out of that boundary and deal with me but do not dare to cross that boundary okay so learn to show boundaries to people so i mean people should not take you for granted okay if you're doing something for them they should respect that they should learn this fact that uh you are doing it because you are very nice and kind and because you want to help them okay but then they should not become greedy for whatever you have to share and that is what i mean that uh, you need to learn to show boundaries to people secondly start pampering yourself first is show boundaries secondly start pampering yourself do things that make you really happy it can be anything it can be like going on a vacation it can be like taking a break from your work routine going for a movie it can be like you know uh, doing things to bring a smile on your face if you want to go and hang out with your friends just pick up the phone and call them if if going and visiting your parents is going to bring a smile on your face go ahead and do that if having a sumptuous meal somewhere if having dinner in a fancy restaurant somewhere is going to make you happy just go ahead and do that okay if taking a massage and you know uh, doing a haircut is going to make you happy go ahead and do that it is it is the definition of happiness differs from person to person but your your mind and your body and your soul is telling you that the month of august you need to stop you need to start loving yourself stop everything else stop i mean i'm not saying literally stop doing whatever you're doing but remove some time to make sure that you allocate some time throughout the day and that some time should be your me time totally do things that make you happy in that time one hour every day uh, you uh, you keep aside this one hour and do during that one hour do anything that will make you happy watching television watching netflix eating eating some noodles cooking for yourself or during the weekends you can make some uh, you can make a full day program whatever you want to do go and visit a, Dis- a disneyland go and spend some time in las vegas okay plan a short vacation probably so it's time to uh learn about yourself it's time to love yourself okay because ups and downs in in life are are they are going to happen okay like life will never be a straight line you, you will experience highs and you will experience lows again highs and again lows okay so ups and downs are a part of your life and they will be always there till the time we are alive so having said so realize that in the midst of everything you are you should be very important to yourself so do not forget yourself okay and do not allow people to become greedy around you because of your generous nature people tend to become greedy i'm, I'm getting that energy especially from the seven of cups okay like people are like oh my god sagittarius has so much to share and on the top of it sagittarius is also very generous okay so let me extract from sagittarius people tend to become extremely greedy around you is what i'm getting okay they 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 become greedy about your love they become hungry for your love they become hungry for your generosity whatever you whatever else you have to share let's talk about your person now we have 9 of 10 uh, of cups then we have page of wands then we have 6 uh, uh, of wands and we have the fool so 
there is there is this energy of a person who is coming across as some uh, who is coming across as someone who is very confident confident to uh who is confident about winning your heart who is confident about if they take a strong leap of faith towards you they will not fail in that attempt they are very confident that they will have a future with you they are very confident that they will have a family with you whosoever wants to have kids they they're very sure they will have kids with you they'll have a home with you i'm getting this energy of confidence especially from six of wands look at the way this person is marching ahead moving ahead like the energy this person embodies is like i'm fucking confident in whatever i'm doing and it's it's not a fake confidence it's not at all a fake confidence there is someone who is coming towards you and sagittarius i want you to be ready regarding this you're sitting and crying like oh i don't have love in my life and this person is coming to win your heart and make you this whether it is man or a female doesn't matter they are very confident and they have done a lot of things in their life because of their confidence okay and not just confidence it's again i'm telling you this is not a fake confidence this person is a visionary they are very strategic and they know what they are doing they know that whenever they are doing anything i mean they do things at the right time they plan accordingly and they know the consequences of their moves okay so they plan their moves accordingly uh, and because of which they always the success rate is usually high their moves their strategy and everything else is so perfect that success rate is usually 90 to 95% in this person's case okay they are they are someone who is very brainy and this person probably has uh, traveled the world they have been exposed to different people different cultures different environments they grew up in different countries probably and this person is like a, a kind of a go getter kind of a person since uh, since their childhood uh they know their shit very well is what i'm getting and trust me this person is going to be very very successful going ahead they're going to be successful at least i'm getting those vibes very strongly like you are with someone uh who is going to be very successful or this person will help you realize your potential and they will help you reach to the top okay they'll push you to reach reach to the top that is what i see either they are going to be extremely successful or they are going to make you extremely successful they are going to help you realize your true potential and that is how things will start moving for you okay this is a once in a lifetime relationship okay you don't want to miss that and stop stop like if you're thinking about things th that did not work out in the past don't do that there is no point in devoting your energy towards that there is no point at all trust me there is something wonderful that is that is uh, about to happen in your life there is no point in crying over the spilt milk whatever happened it happened it was a part of your life it was a learning lesson stop devoting your energy to the past especially when i see what uh, the kind of energy i'm getting from the cards i see that you are meant to be with someone new okay at least majority of you you are going to be with someone new and someone wonderful is about to enter in your life and you're manifesting that okay this whoever this person is coming your way consciously subconsciously you're manifesting this person okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right sagittarius take care of yourself and have a great time ahead bye bye